Hello friends, and welcome to a quick look at reordering drawings. Not on the X sheet, but in the actual drawing level. And this is something I had to do a few weeks back when I was drawing the backgrounds. I know that I wanted to have them drawn in order when looking from left to right in the room. And this makes it easier to select the right background, especially when scrolling through them with the Q and W keys. And the same this week, after I'd drawn some example mouth shapes, but I hadn't drawn them in the right order. When I tried importing the lip sync data using the apply lip sync data to column option, I had to select the appropriate drawing from the level for each mouth shape. But if I'd drawn them in this order, then they'd be ready to import without any extra work. But don't worry, next week I go through adding lip sync in detail. But for now, just understand that the order of drawings is often important. So drawings are exposed on the X sheet, but you can also get to them through the level strip. And I would have hoped that you could have just reordered drawings by clicking and dragging or holding control or shift and clicking and dragging and then dropping the drawing in its new position. But unfortunately, you can't. So how do you reorder them? Well, there's two ways. An easy way and a harder way. But both could be useful, so let's take a look at both. So first the easy way. If you reorder the drawings on the X sheet, you can then use an auto renumber command to change their numbers to the frame they're on. So for instance, I know that drawing number 10 for the lip sync needs to be the rest position, which I've got at drawing number 8. So if I highlight that and click and drag that so it's in the last position, I can then just highlight all the frames, right click and choose auto renumber. So now the drawing in frame number 10 becomes drawing number 10. And you can see that in the level strip as well. So it uses the frame number to decide on the drawing number, which also means you can space them out. So if I change this to be on twos instead of on ones, and then highlight all of the drawings, now when I auto renumber them, they're numbered from 1 to 19 with a gap between each drawing. So let's just put these back to ones again. And auto number them 1 to 10 or you can even start on the later frame number so if I drag it down to frame 7 and if I extend this drawing by a few frames and this one by a couple of frames as I highlight this and choose auto read number you can see the first drawing starts at drawing number 7 drawing 11 is extended through to frame 16 and then the next drawing becomes drawing 17 which is exposed for two frames followed by drawing 19 and the rest. So that's fairly straightforward and this is the way I probably do it most of the time. But there is an alternative way that you might want to consider using. So the alternative way is to renumber the drawings in the level strip itself. And it's quite easy, you just highlight the frames, choose renumber from the context menu and then choose the start number for the first frame you've highlighted and then the step between each of the drawings. So for instance, if I change this to start at frame number 10 with a step of 2 and then renumber, the first drawing is drawing number 10, then subsequent drawings are two numbers apart. And of course to insert drawings you can just select on one drawing and right click and choose renumber and then set that number to drawing number 11 in this instance to move it to the second position in the list. Like that. So you can highlight as few or as many frames as you like and choose to renumber them. And this may be more appropriate when you start to get into higher numbers of drawings in a single level. So that's it. Two quick ways to renumber your drawings so they sit in a better order for you. And this is really useful if you plan to scroll through the drawings to select the one you want using the Q and W keys. Or if you use the skeleton tool to scroll through them. So don't be afraid to reorder your drawings to make using them easier. So I'll see you again soon for more tips and tutorials. And that's a guarantee.